Hello everyone. So today in this video, uh, we are going to see managing large scale infrastructure with the Terraform modules. So as your cloud infrastructure grows, your Terraform code base can quickly become large, hard to manage and prone to human error. That's where Terraform modules come in. They help you organize, reuse and uh, scale your infrastructure effectively. So in this video, this is a guide to creating and using Terraform modules, managing module updates, storing and version controlling modules, and applying best practices for large scale infrastructure management. So first, what are Terraform modules? So a module in Terraform is simply a folder with one or more .tf files. Uh, just think of it as a, re a reusable package of Terraform configurations. So instead of repeating the same configuration like VPCs, EC2 instances across multiple projects, you create a module once and reuse it. So in this st step one, we'll set up our project structure first. So first we'll create a directory called Terraform large scale. So in that we'll create uh, modules directory and in the modules we'll create uh, VPC and EC2 e e so main.tfs. So I'll copy this and paste it here. So here we got modules and in that we got EC2 and VPC. So now Let's create the main and module files now. So here you can see. So here we got the main.tf and also modules. So inside the modules, we got ec to main.tf and vpc main.tf. So now we write the modules now. So first we'll build the VPC module here. So I'll use this code. So in the modules, VPC main.tf, I'll paste this code here and I'll save it. So now we build the EC2 module. So for that, I'll use this code. So here I pasted the code for the EC2. After this, uh, save it. Now we have to write the main.tf file. So I'll use this code for that. So here our provider is AWS and our region is AP South one. So here we took the model from the VPC and this is the mo uh, model from the EC2. So this is the source uh, for the VPC module and this is the source for the EC2 module. So here I'll change the AMI ID. So I'll take the AMI ID from the AMI catalog here. So here our instance type is uh, t2.micro. So now I'll save it. So now we have to initialize and apply by using the Terraform init and Terraform apply commands. So first we'll use the Terraform init. So now it's being initialized. So now we'll use the Terraform apply. So yes, so here our AWS EC2 instance and the VPC will be created now. So here two resources are added, which are easy to instance and VPC. So if you check in this, so 
so new ec2 instance got created here so if you go to the vpc so here any vpc got created also so lots of modules work here so we can also refresh models using get or a model update so if you change anything inside a module like uh, if you update the vpc config you can refresh the models in, a, in the project also so by using the terraform get update so so here you can see both ec2 and vpc modules got updated so if you do any changes in the models you can use this command so this ensures uh, your models are always in sync with the latest changes sir. so we can also store the models in the git repository so here we can create a new github repo called terraform aws vpc model and we have to push the modules uh, to that repo and you can use it like the main.tf like uh, in the main.tf in the place of source here So here we gave the source uh, from our local, but when we use in the when we use the GitHub, we have to give the link of that GitHub repo here in the in the place of this uh, local source. So that's how we can use uh, these modules in the uh, GitHub also. So this gives you version control and a clean model uh, modular access. So pro tips for large scale infra management. So Break infra into reusable modules like VPC, EC2, RDS, S3. Make one module for each. Use Terraform Get or Terraform Model Update to refresh modules after updates. Uh, and also store modules in Git or a private registry to ensure version control and team access. So we can also organize with environments. So we can use these three environments like dev, staging, and prod so that uh, each can call the same models with uh, different variables. So we can also use the environments here. So in the conclusion, as you were, as you scale your cloud uh, projects, managing all your Terraform code in a single file or directory becomes in inefficient and difficult. Terraform models provide a clean and reusable way to organize your infrastructure components. They allow you to reuse code across different environments, simplify infrastructure updates, and collaborate with your team more efficiently. By breaking your infrastructure into modular parts, and storing them in version controlled repositories, you can create a scalable, maintainable, and professional workflow for managing cloud infrastructure. So, this is about managing large scale infrastructure, infrastructure with Terraform modules. So, that's it for today. So, yeah, thank you.